Hi everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. Today is a very exciting day because guess what? We reached over 100 subscribers on my page, so that means that I have my own personal URL now. So if you go to youtube.com backslash Hot Mess Express Tutorials, you'll go to my page and see all of the videos that I use, so that's very exciting. Also with that, I was able to get my own subscribe button. So if you go to the description box down below, you will see that and you can copy it and put it on your social media and tell your friends to subscribe and watch my videos and that would be great. Thank you. Now to this look that we are doing today, this is the look obviously, I got this idea that I wanted to spread some love in the beauty community and I know that one of our beauty community gurus, our, our holy mecca, Jacqueline Hill is going through some personal issues right now. She posted something on her Instagram um, saying that her and her husband of almost nine years are um, getting divorced. So I just wanted to spread some love to Jacqueline Hill and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using some of her products today. So come along with me. Three, two, one. Fresh face. Okay, so today we're going to start a little bit differently than normal. What I'm going to do is start with my eyeshadow and then I'm going to do my foundation and other face makeup type things because I feel like with a darker look, there's more likely um, fallout. So, you know, looking like death is upon me. So we're just going to wipe that up. We're going to start by priming our eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You should use your ring finger. And I might be causing wrinkles to my eye, but what are you going to do? I'm going to put some scotch tape on my eye to make sure there is a straight line. And this also is great because I didn't put foundation on, so it won't take off any of the makeup. The scotch tape kind of feels a little bit weird and you might have to reposition it a couple times. I'm going to start with these two colors from the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. You want to hold your brush on the end so that it's lighter and there's less pressure. I'm patting this down, giving small strokes, spreading it out across my eye giving it this maroon color. Then you're going to take a clean brush and blend it out to the high heavens. So circles. And you know me and I love my dark eyeshadow so I'm using this dark, 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 dark brown color. I think it's called a halo because I'm going to look godly after this. Dark colors blend until your hand hurts. Uh, next, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. We're going to put it right in the middle. And then a new trick that I just learned to help you with cut creases and such is to look up. So on all the way up down there. I'm going to put some pressed powder on top to set it. This is Physician's Formula. I kind of got that a little bit everywhere. Next, I'm going to use this glittery brown color. I'm going to spray it one to two times with setting spray to make sure that the color pops. I know it's very popular in makeup right now to also have a line right here, but I have not yet conquered that, so this is what you're getting. I'm actually using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush for this. Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just really like it. Slash, I don't have any more brushes that are like this. I'm not putting my eyeliner on in the frame because that's not happening. It's just, I can barely do it looking in the mirror, so. I'm using Cake Face Beauty Lashes in Boss Lady because Jaclyn Hill is a boss lady. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that you can see the eyeliner over the lash. I'm making the liner really thick today, so. Okay, so we're going to take this off. 
and it looks beautiful. I need to do that more often. And just like that, both eyes were done. Woo. We're gonna add the darkest color to the inner corner of the bottom part of our eye. And then the second darkest color. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Highlight, okay, am I literally doing this from the wrong side? I am. This is one of the first fancy makeup things that I ever bought, and I believe that this was a Jaclyn Hill collaboration, but it's really funny because when I was first buying it, I thought that Jaclyn Hill was the brand. I knew nothing about gurus and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this Jaclyn Hill highlighter. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lipstick in Coco K. Now, this isn't a Jaclyn Hill product, but I know that she loves the Kylie Cosmetics as well as I do. I love her lip products. And even though it is the bane of my existence, I'm gonna put lip gloss over top of this to give it a sheen. In real life, I probably wouldn't do this, but for you, I'll do anything. This has an orange tint to it, which I think will go good with some of the redder colors that we used in the eyeshadow. Lip gloss is like the lipstick on your teeth. It's gonna happen, so that's why I don't usually wear it. Um, also, when you're in your car and the windows are down and then your hair gets in your lip gloss and that's also super annoying to me. So, yes. But we are finished this look, so let's do the final thing, which is spray my face. <laughs> This is the end of our video. Sending much love out there to Jaclyn Hill. Everything is gonna be okay, and the beauty community supports you. If you guys watching like this video, you can like, subscribe, comment. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. My Hot Max Express tip of the day is don't take all your equipment apart before you know how to use it. I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, bye. Mwah.